Hey guys, today I will add a new series to my channel, it's called the PC Build and in this section of my channel I will put a list of PC parts together for you guys and show you what you can do with those PC parts, what kind of performance you can get out of it. So all in all you'll be seeing what you can get for your money. So to kick this series off I'm going to build a PC that is ready to stream to the Nvidia Shield. So I really hope you guys like this new part of my channel and uh, I hope you enjoy the video. This video is brought to you by Nvidia, the way it's meant to be played. Alright guys, so for the CPU we'll be using a AMD Athlon X4. 3.8 GHz quad core CPU. Besides that this CPU is 3.8 GHz, it's also a black edition AMD CPU. So it will be overclockable. So you can squeeze a little bit of more performance into your CPU. So this CPU by AMD will run you about $85. So for the motherboard we'll be using a MSI A78 ME35 motherboard so there's nothing special about this motherboard other than it's really budget and it supports USB 3 and uses the E35 chipset so this motherboard will run you about $60 so for the RAM we'll be using a single stick 8GB Crucial Ballistic Sport RAM and we'll be using single stick RAM because upgrading will be easier and cheaper in the future so this single stick of RAM will run you about $65. So for the hard drive, I chose a Western Digital Caviar Blue 1TB. As this hard drive is fairly fast, running at 7.2K RPM. So this hard drive will run you about $60. Now the most important part of this build is the graphics card. For which I chose a NVIDIA graphics card. It is a EVGA GeForce GTX 750Ti. This card is factory overclocked so it performs a little bit better than the average GTX 750Ti. This insane card will run you about $150. So for the case I really didn't have taste so I went for the Roseville Blackbone ATX case. This case is ugly but for the value you get for this case it is perfect. This case will cost you about $35. So for the power supply, I went with a EVGA 500 watt 80 plus certified power supply. This power supply is not so efficient, but it gets the job done. Nothing special. This power supply will cost you about $4. So this whole PC will run you about $500. So you might be asking yourself, how does this PC perform? Bioshock Infinite runs at 45 frames per second, average at ultra settings, 1080p. Need for Speed Rifles runs at 30 frames per second at ultra settings 1080p, but it can't get any higher since EA put a unremovable frame limiter on it. Move over to Battlefield 4 which runs at 51 frames per second at high settings 1080p. Metro Last Light runs at 46 frames per second at high settings 1080p. Now over to Crisis 3, one of the most punishing PC titles runs at 53 frames per second at medium settings 1080p. So guys, you can see this PC performs pretty well for its price and it has the latest and greatest from Nvidia. It has the Maxwell architecture. So those who have an Nvidia Shield have fun game streaming and that's it for this PC build guys. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to leave a like, uh, comment if you need help and subscribe if you want to see more of this. And uh, that's it for this video guys. Peace.